So first of all, when you walk into uh, the Alhambra, the Nasrid Palace, you come into this room, it has all like the wooden effect on the ceiling, the tiles, there's so much to look at. And then you go down a little narrow corridor and you come into this kind of like open courtyard space. And it's so hard to even know where to look because I mean, every single place, the walls, the ceiling, there's some detail on everywhere. And every so often you kind of get a glimpse of Granada down below and the terracotta roofs and the lovely trees. Um, this palace is just so many places to look at. I mean, the ceilings in this place are absolutely insane, um, as you'll see along the way. And then this is kind of like a courtyard place, which is very similar to the palace in the Real Alcazar in Seville, with kind of like the pond running down the center. But this is just so beautiful. I love the archways. This archway in particular, I stood for ages to have a look at. I just love the blue. The detail actually in person is something unreal. This is kind of the main center courtyard. It's got the kind of like those gargoyles style things underneath the fountain the arches are amazing and then there's these little rooms that kind of lead off of that and this is one of them and wait until you see the ceiling guys oh my god I couldn't believe it you literally look up and it keeps going up and up and up and there's all these kind of little crevices and all these details the little windows even up the top it must have taken absolutely years to make this then you can see the walls the arches everywhere is covered in like tiles and engravings and see the little pond there in the center that kind of runs out all the way to the center up to the courtyard that we saw just a minute ago it seems like that fountain itself kind of has little uh, passageways little kind of like um, streams running off it into different rooms so it kind of connects the whole uh, palace which is absolutely unbelievable this is another room just off again it's kind of like that other one we just saw and um, it has all the tiling work and again another kind of like Star of David style uh, roof it's got all the little tiny windows the stained glass all the kind of like detailed work it's just absolutely beautiful you really can't appreciate it unless you go and see it it's absolutely breathtaking and as you're walking along as I said you just get glimpses of the outside every so often this was actually yet yeah, another um, feature it was slightly different than the other one and I just like we spent ages just standing there staring up at it trying to take in it all in this little room then was off the side you don't have access to all of the little kind of spaces but I just thought this stained glass was absolutely gorgeous and then you can see all the detail the little archways are just so beautiful and that's kind of down onto kind of a garden courtyard in the center of the palace and um, the roof and the ceiling the work and the craftsmanship in all of this is just like something else and there you go a little view of Granada down below this is the courtyard that we just saw a little glimpse of through the window and um, so you've got the lemon tree Trees, the lovely big mass trees and you can kind of do a walk all the way around it. it's got the fountain in the center and it's just that kind of like real indulgent royal feel when you're walking around the gardens then themselves the general life gardens are so beautiful the gardens are probably twice the size of the actual palace itself you could literally get lost in them you could just go see them by themselves and you'd have a great time I mean like they have all these like tiered kind of like planting they've got a little um, pond as well or rather a big pond as you can see there and yeah just so beautiful and then again overlooking um, the landscape below in Granada through the little windows through the little arches I can only imagine what it must have been like to live here it must have been absolutely unbelievable wandering through all the little corridors and the passages looking at the kind of artwork and the architecture and all of the detail that went into it and then even strolling through all the gardens there's so many different plants planted here and then you can actually go up to the kind of like tower fort and you can get a full like 180 degree view of Granada down below and it's just amazing for pictures as you can see there like it's really endless you can see the Sierra Nevada mountains in the distance it's absolutely beautiful I would definitely recommend this as a day trip I'm so glad that we did it and yeah that's it from Alhambra